So today's tip, I'm going to talk a little bit about how this book here uh, can help you out in uh, several situations. And the rules of golf are made to help the golfer, uh, not to uh, hinder them. Um, we're on two west here, and uh, I've hit my tee shot left of the fairway, and uh, it's gone into this uh, into this creek. Um, right around on this tree and bounced in. So first thing we need to do in this situation to figure out uh, our relief options is, is see the point at which the ball last crossed the margin of the hazard. So um, you know, I've marked that location there. Many times that's difficult to uh, establish, but do the best you can. Uh, we were fortunate here. I actually had a group on the green that, that saw it come down there. So right here is my point of entry. Um, from there, we have a couple different options. Our first option to take relief is going to be stroke and distance, which means I can go back to where I replayed it. So in this situation, we'd be back on the tee, and I'm facing the same tee shot I hit in here. Probably not what I want to do. The next is to keep this point between the point of entry between the hole and where I dropped the golf ball. So it would be a line back this way. Again, in this situation, probably not our best option. Um, one important thing is, is that this is a lateral water hazard, as you can tell by red stakes, not a regular water hazard, which are yellow. Because this is red staked, I'm, I'm allowed two more options uh, under Rule 26-1. Um, and what this tells us is we can now take two club lengths relief. Um, so I'd mark this point, measure it with two clubs. It can be either the club you're using or a driver, what have you. And then you're going to be able to drop it in this area at a one-stroke penalty. The problem I run into on this particular hole, and I see this with a lot of our members, is my shot, as you can see now, is not very good. I've got a couple trees in the way. I have to carry it over water. It's just not a very good option. But what 26-1 does tell us with a lateral hazard, we can go equidistant. So I can actually go to the other side, which is going to be across the creek, keeping that same distance and do two club links from that point. I'm gonna show you what that looks like and I think you're gonna like the option. Okay, so we've come to the opposite side of the hazard and uh, we found a point equidistant. And the, the easiest way to find an equidistant point is just to use your range finder if you have one. So it was 93 yards on that side. We find a spot over here where it's 93 yards. That point is then going to be equidistant. That's now our new point of option. So from there, we're going to go ahead and measure our two club links. Two. And then we're going to go ahead and drop the golf ball. And we're back in play. And as you can see, the shot I'm faced with here is a much better option than the one over there under the trees. Um, you know, use the rules to your advantage. That's what they're there for. Um, I hope this helps you. And I hope this saves you strokes. I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.